Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Lounge. Here to discuss some NBA action. Now, guys, I'm gonna show you something really fucking stupid here real quick. So as you can see, I actually made a prediction chart earlier in the year. You have fucking October 15th, October uh, fucking last year, and then today's date. So I wanted to do this before we start the playoffs and kind of give you an idea of where my fucking head was at. And just kind of take a look here, all right? So the one fucking team I got right was the goddamn Thunders. Everything else I got wrong, all right? And then even in the playoffs, you can take a look here. What the fuck is this, right? This was the prediction, and now this is what I think is going to happen, everybody. Now, the great thing is, if you follow us on Instagram at the Sky Lounge, I'm going to have this all available. But I do want to take a little bit of time to explain my mindset behind these fucking predictions. And so the thing is, you know, I had, oh, good Lord, going coming into these playoffs, I'm like, man, what a fucking weird year. What a weird year for the NBA. The Western Conference has been nothing but phenomenal. I mean, it has been awesome. And all these individual statistics and his historical statistics being broken has been fucking great to watch. And I think in the playoffs, we're going to see something crazy, some crazy shit. But I'm gonna, let, let, let's, let's talk about these individual brackets. And I'm going to just walk you through this again in the fucking playoff bracket right here, mother. All right, so fucking A. Let's go ahead and start. You know, let's go ahead and start with the East here. I definitely think between the Toronto Raptors and the Washington Wizards, Toronto makes it fucking easy. I'd say in about five, maybe six games. Six games, Toronto wins, no fucking problem. And then between the Cavaliers and Pacers, five. Five games. Yeah, Victor Oladipo may get like a good one in. Collison, uh, a couple of those guys in the fucking Indiana lineup. But Jesus fucking Christ, it's, it's, oh, it's always the Cavs. It's always the goddamn Cavs. Against Philly and Miami, this this was kind of a fucking hard one just because I think it's going to come down to the wire. Six or seven games, I think it's going to come down to Philly. And Philly goes and uh, plays Boston, who I think is going to get the fucking win in six. Because they're missing so much personnel, six games. And this is going to speak to the perseverance and uh, uh, and the fucking genius of Brad Stevens. And that's going to happen, in, in my opinion. But when it comes down to the fucking third seeding and the second seeding between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics, it has to come to the fucking 76ers. They got more fucking rim protection. They got fucking bigger dudes. They can. I'm, I'm, I'm not really 100% about their shooting. So I'd say Philly in six or seven games. And then, oh boy, the King's coming back. Fucking five games, no problem. Five games for the King. And then you're going to have a battle between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that's going to come down to a sweep. Calling it right now. LeBron is making the sweep. He is making the goddamn sweep. So let's move on to the Western Conference where we have the Houston Rockets going against the fucking Minnesota Timberwolves. Five games. No problem for the fucking Houston Rockets. They, they, they've done it all season. They know how to fucking handle it. But when we talk about the Oklahoma City Thunders, who we, we, who we would have thought would have been the better team this offseason, has been nothing but inconsistent. So for me, I would definitely take OKC, but in six games. In six games. OKC has to get their shit together, but I think it's going to take a lot for them to just get their head straight in the series. So I'd say OKC in six. And with the portrait... Portland Trailblazers versus New Orleans Pelicans. This is great for the Pelicans, man. They're finally at the fucking playoffs. But the problem is, I would have given them a better chance here if Boogie was available. But AD trying to do everything by himself. I know they got Holiday. I know they got Rondo. But I think Portland, the way they've been playing, the momentum they're going into the off or the postseason, it, it's something you can't discount. It really isn't. So I'm going to say Portland in six. For this one. And when you come down to the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. This is the one I know is going to cause a lot of controversy for everybody. But I don't give a fuck. Because I think in seven in a seven game series. Now this is a lot. There's a lot of contingencies in this game. There, there's a lot of contingency coming into this game. Main factor being. Steph isn't healthy. Where, where's Kawhi Leonard? 
And how well is LaMarcus Aldridge going to perform? Is he going to fucking choke like last year? Or are we going to see the same LaMarcus that we saw during the fucking regular season? I believe in the latter. And I definitely think in seven games, the seven games, this is going to be a seven game series. I think the fucking Spurs are going to kick Golden State Warriors ass in seven fucking games. So when we get, when we break it down like that, you got the Portland Trailblazers going against the San Antonio Spurs. I think the San Antonio Spurs win that in five or six games. No fucking problem. And then we move on to the fucking big fucking money here. Brody's versus Brody's. Harden versus uh, Russell Westbrook. And I definitely think Houston wins that in six or seven games. This is going to be probably the best one if this happens. If OKC and Houston both make it out, I think this is going to be such a great series to watch. But it's going to come down to six or seven games. And when you talk about the Western Conference Final, uh, man, I, I don't know. I mean, I had a hard time struggling with this. But it's going to be a battle of Texas Five games, Houston wins this. Okay, five games. But, Sung, what is this? What the fuck is this? You have the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the fucking championship? Yes, motherfuckers, yes. In fucking six or five games. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you exactly why. First of all, let's talk about LeBron James. LeBron James took homeless men to the NBA Finals in 2007. Yeah, Harden's great, CP3's great, but even if they make it out of the Western Conference Finals, they have never been to the Finals. I mean, Harden's been to the Finals, but with a stacked team. Now, yes, this is also a stacked team, but I think LeBron can't handle Houston. I think LeBron, in playoff mode, is a different animal. So, I don't know, call, call me crazy. Call me a broad sexual, but I think LeBron is going to win his fucking, what, fourth ring? He's going to win his fourth ring. It's going to be fucking crazy. It's going to be bananas. So, that's my prediction for this year. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, all that shit. And until next time, fuck off.